Hello everyone and welcome back to Web Knowledge. In this video, I am going to configure Grandstream UCM and then start GSM Gateway configuration. So, in this video, I am going to show you mapping extension to a specific port of GSM Gateway for incoming and outgoing calls. So that particular SIM call land on particular extension and same way outgoing call happen on particular SIM from the particular extension. So here we have step by step configuration. So first step is to create SIP trunk in grass team PBX. So I have grass team UCM 6302. Now in the VoIP trunk option, we will add SIP trunk and set the type as peer SIP trunk and give a name like GSM Gateway. Now give the IP address of GSM Gateway. and set the protocol UDP now click on save and click on edit to enable heartbeat detection in the advanced setting keep the other setting as it is and enable heartbeat detection so that PBX will monitor the trunk status. Now the second option is to create outbound and incoming routes. So first of all, I am adding outbound route. Give a name, outbound or outgoing, whatever you want to set here. Now set the pattern x dot it means any length of number you can dial now enable source caller id allow list and select extensions from which you want to make the outgoing calls so i have extension from 900 to above numbers after that i'm going to select the trunk so i'm selecting gsm gateway trunk now save so this way we have added the outgoing rule for extensions can reach gsm gateway and now i'm going to add incoming rule from gsm gateway to pbx and now give a name for incoming rule for identification now pattern is i'm using x dot x dot means any number can reach to the or any did of the extension or pattern will match here after that set the destination as by did so since we have extension starting from 900 and up to 915 now click on apply changes so we have finished the configuration at pbx level now we start with the gsm gateway Here we have 8 port GSM gateway. So we assign incoming and outgoing rule for the port wise. So first of all, we add a SIP trunk, which is our third step. Create SIP trunk in GSM gateway. So for that, 
navigate to call configuration and ship trunk configuration and click on add now enter the IP address of UCM and enter the SIP port of PBX which is 5060 by default so we missed the description we'll set the description as well for this so I'm setting description as UCM now click on OK Now our fourth step is to set VoIP hotline number in port configuration. So this way we set the incoming call on SIM and that will be forward to the extension. So here we have eight ports and select all. Now we set number in two VoIP hotline. So we set it port wise like starting from 900, 901, 902, 903, 904, 905, 906 and 7. So any incoming call on this port will be forwarded to the VoIP PBX on the DID 900 and 901 and so on up to 907. So setting here and click on copy and it will increment by one step. So here all the ports are filled with the uh, extensions. Now our our fifth step is to add IP to tell root. That means outgoing on external numbers. IP means UCM side incoming and tell means GSM side. So here we will add in the batch mode for particular extension can assign to particular port and here we give maximum number so maximum number is 8 as we have 8 sims and increment by 1 description outgoing now select source as ship trunk UCM and select the destination as port 0 and source prefix is starting extension which is 900 so it will increment automatically and create 8 rules and other settings will be pressed as it is so here you can see 8 rules are added for all extensions binding to the particular port so 900 is bind to port 0 901 port bind to port 1 and 902 extension is bind to port 2 and similarly other ports as well so we have created outgoing rule now last step is to add tell to IP route which is incoming call so we click on tell to IP root and click on add now give a description incoming and select as port group and destination select as destination zip trunk UCM and save so now here we created incoming rule and outgoing rule and set the zip trunk so this way any call coming on particular sim will route it to the extension on UCM side to VoIP hotline is uh, mandatory to forward the call on PBX side when you are mapping specific port with extension so thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and hit like button thank you